Hello guys, we're at Blockchain and Bitcoin conference in Moscow today. And I'm having a coffee break with Nicola Barozzi, who is a business developer at Interlogica. Is it correct? Correct. Okay, what are you doing at the company and what is the whole thing, what the company is doing? I mean, the Interlogica. Uh, we're from Italy and uh, we develop software since uh, 20 years ago and uh, we are in Italy market leader in uh, long-term car rental. Uh, we are approaching in the last uh, couple of years blockchain projects. Uh, our company came from a uh, hacking uh, background. We like um, uh, difficult things and uh, we like to walk out of the path that uh, normal companies uh, follow. Blockchain actually is the cool thing and so we are, uh, we're on it. Anything about Humanic yet? Um, about our company, what we are doing? Yes, yes, I've heard about you. You are um, uh, recognizing uh, people by face and... Yes, uh, yes, you are using this uh, bio-identification, which is a difficult word, but I've already learned how to pronounce it. Anyway, so yeah, we are doing um, face recognition and voice recognition and it's going to be also a pattern of how your face is moving so it's going to be a really secure way and um, I think we are going to avoid any passwords um, and at the same time we will have a kind of unique uh, database of the people because each person who is logging in we have a picture and the, and the voice as well. Uh, I would like to ask you, what do you think about um, bringing uh, this kind of project as we have uh, to the population, for example, in Africa or India, where the people don't have access to bank account? In your opinion, uh, is it, um, does it give future economically wise to people like that? About all this kind of stuff, I think it's cool when you talk about it. The problem is to communicate to this kind of people because they don't use uh, bank, they don't uh, uh, have access to uh, media. So it's the, the complex part of this task like this one is to, to inform them, to let them know what's happening, what they could do with this kind of technology and that's not easy because usually it's people that uh, has no high um, instruction and so it's uh, the difficult part is this one. But if it's something that they can uh, live better, they obviously they learn fast because uh, when they find something that helps their life every day, I know that there are payment system on uh, old Nokia mobile with uh, keyboard and uh, and working a lot in uh, in Africa because people find them very easy, very useful. They learn to use it by word of mouth and. Uh, oh, you mean they're using just usual phones, just with buttons? Yeah, with buttons. To do what with it? send payments, micro payments. Really? They, they but have system like that, not on blockchain obviously. They yeah, are yeah, of course. They have safe system, but they are spreading because they are very easy to use. They don't need technology. And when uh, somebody finds this very easy, very fast to learn, they, they tell to somebody else and the, the news spread fast and these technologies start to get used a lot. How do they use these uh, button phones? They have internet there or just how do they do that? They use data. Data, okay, I see. For them to use uh, face recognition and things like that, they need a high bandwidth, they need uh, recent smartphones and uh, obviously time is working for us. So soon everybody will have bandwidth, will have sm smartphones, very powerful and so on. But uh, actually right now I think it's the, the most, the biggest problem you will face will be to, to spread your technology to this kind of people. Yeah. That's why we have our ambassadors in, uh, in Africa. Hopefully we will manage to do that. Thank you so much for your opinion, Nicole. You're welcome. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.